Good day everybody, it's Jerry from BSK Garage and today we're going to look at a super probe that I figure should be good to carry with you in your vehicle when you're out wheeling, troubleshoot some issues if you're out on the trail or just have in your garage. This is a cheaper alternative to another tool and we're going to have a look at it and just to see how well it compares. This is the KZW, I don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce it, it's the KM10. If we flip it over to the back, it says Vehicle Super Probe. Perform these functions, power injection, measuring, ground testing, polarity checking, continuity testing, and component activation. Read the AVO meter, voltage, current, and resistance easily. Let's get this out of the box and have a look at it. It comes in a plastic molded case. I just need a get it out just give me a second so we got a nice plastic molded case like the tool stays in which is going to be good helps protect it oh yeah look at that bright orange bright orange there we go let's have a look at your that's your probe right there okay it looks like it's uh got a healthy length of wire there plus must be another jumper attachment it looks like it plugs in case you need extra you got a cigarette lighter plug in which is nice r12 volt let's get these instructions out of the box instruction booklet has some very important information one of the things i really wanted to know so the power switch is right where my finger is allows you to conduct a positive or negative battery current to the tipper activation which is good that's what i like so the mode button selects work mode ac voltage dc voltage resistance and but it's got an auto circuit breaker which is good i wanted to know what happened if you accidentally um triggered a wrong circuit goes through dc voltage ac diode I'm going to keep this tool in my JK to do some troubleshooting when I'm out. This is the auxiliary ground right here. So now that we've had a look at it, I guess what we really need to do right now is power it up and let the smoke out of the wires. I got the hood open on the Jeep. But I fear that battery may be dead so these connections you can't screw up as you can see one has a circle one has kind of like a square and of course you could tell plus is red so I'm gonna plug those in I'm just gonna hook that up to the battery see what comes on for power doesn't seem to be doing anything so I turned it off and on oh yeah my voltage is low 5.9 volts I need to charge this up we're gonna try this again should take care of our issues oh yeah screens way brighter Battery's still low, 11.3 volts, but um, that's your ground. So we can switch the modes by pressing that button so our DC voltage, as you see right there. Press it. AC voltage. That one there is resistance. And then diode, which is right there. Go back to voltage mode. Let's see if I can get this cover off here. Uh, it's going to do some tests of some power. So let me get this back onto 
the voltage 11.2 volts start testing some of these not energized not energized it's power on that one power on all these ones almost Gonna test some resistance here. Try to find a fuse that's not powered up. I think this one here, the 15 amp. It's another one. So I'm supposed to be able to power up stuff. So it's got a little little ground clamp that I connected onto the ground. Let me just try to fish this wire up somewhere so I can test it. Ground is connected, so now if I push the button forward, oops, there we go. Had it on resistance there, but. Definitely got it powered up. This thing's actually pretty cool. Nice budget tester. Keep with you in your toolkit when you're out in the bush. So I can do this the opposite. I got the positive in there. So now I should be able to press down. There you go. Press down, apply ground. I can light the circuit up. So you can apply power and ground. So now I'm going to energize the circuit with this tool. I can hear the relay click. Oh yeah, yeah, lights work and I can see it reflect on the trailer. Our, we're good. We are good. My thoughts on the KM10 goes as follows. It is a budget tool. The quality does reflect it, but the tool does as what it claims. It does what I needed to do when I'm testing circuits is be able to apply power, apply ground, check resistance, and everything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.